Hey guys, we're back with studio time and we're not done talking yet about the Buchla system because a very important part of my setup with all the wires that you see here are effects, sense and returns. And I really would like to explain to you what I have hooked up, uh, why am I using it and how I access it uh, through the Buchla system. The first effect um, that I want to focus on is the H9 uh, right there. I already discussed it uh, in a different video. Uh, it has um, an interesting controller with it um, that gives me the ability uh, with 10 CV inputs uh, to control this module. And now if we're going to talk about um, another module, so this is module number one. Um, the second module I'm now going to talk about is um, the H90, which is the newer version of that same module, uh, which is already hooked up um, to the Buchla with auxiliary center return. And not alone, um, but also great, it can be controlled with software from a laptop. So here we see that um, the controlling software for this specific uh, patch and I have the ability to change absolutely everything um, through this laptop into this um, uh, module. I just got this. Apparently, you can control one or two CV inputs uh, with this, but I have to really dive into that to make sure that what I'm saying is true. But uh, to be continued, I just got this like a couple of days ago. Okay, and if uh, the camera is following me, following me over here, here we see probably um, the most beautiful effect uh, of all. Um, it's the Eventide uh, H9000R, uh, and it, it's completely controlled uh, with the software that we see uh, over here. Um, and it's talking to the to the software um, via Wi-Fi. Uh, so this is the tiny little Wi-Fi key in here that um, uh, communicates between the laptop and the H9000. I actually had this one already in LA. I, I just brought it uh, to uh, to Amsterdam. Um, it's an incredible box. It's the flagship of uh, of Eventide. Uh, it contains so many different algorithms to make the most bizarre different sounds. Um, it, it's, it's just fantastic, and it's also hooked up uh, to the Buchla system, sent and return. Uh, so whenever I want to use this effect in any patch. I can do it at any time. I'm now in front of my uh, my uh, Eurorack, and I'm going to point out some of the effects uh, that I have hooked up here uh, that actually with um, a bunch of cables are going to the Buchla system uh, to be used as effects sent and return. But the way that I have hooked them up is in such a way that I can still use them within the Eurorack, so it's not exclusive for uh, the Buchla system, and the way that I do that, I use these really fancy uh, buffered uh, multiples uh, where an effect sense uh, of the Buchla is mixed with an effect sense of the Eurorack, and the output is going to the effect module, therefore, deliver, you know, bringing me the affected sound. Um, so let's start on the right here. The first one we see here is the Magneto. Uh, the Magneto is an incredible uh, echo uh, made by uh, Strymon. Uh, the other effect that we see over here um, is um, a spring reverb, uh, which is made by Erica. Um, here we see the, the, the Starlab, which is also made by, uh, by Strymon. Uh, incredible uh, sounding module. And right underneath we see the, mim uh, the Mimeophone, uh, made by Make Noise, and also that effect is uh, absolutely stellar. And if we take like a few steps back, um, there's a few more modules that I, I would like uh, to point out. The first one is here uh, on the top, which is uh, the Nautilus made by Qubit, uh, and underneath it we see the Qubit um, Aurora and we see two filters over here, the Belgrad, made by, um, uh, I always forget that name, Zayok. Um, it's an incredible uh, sounding filter. And so I use those two uh, to, to create like um, a, a unique filter sounds uh, because the filter made by, uh, by Bukla 
is um, it, it is good, but it's not like a hundred percent fantastic for me. And so I use some of the filters uh, coming from the Euro rack, um, and I, it's being led through all these cables here uh, to like a multi cable that goes uh, to my um, uh, Bukla system. I use high quality cables, so I'm, there's barely any loss uh, of uh, sound. And since I mangle the sounds like so drastically in the in the Bukla, um, it, it's uh, it, it's 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 totally fine. Um, and um, a few things I would like to point out is like obviously I'm not using all these effects at the same time, um, but I'm using them, you know. Um, for this or for that, but e each one of these effects are so full sounding, uh, whether it's the Eventide or it's the, the, the Star Lab, they're so full in quality already uh, that um, you don't need to combine like four or five different effects. So usually it's like one and then something echo related and that's how I usually do it. Hey guys, I'm standing in front of my Buko system and I now want to explain how these effects uh, are coming in. Uh, and how they're leaving the Bukla system. So let's zoom in on the first module over here, which we already discussed. It's um, a quad low pass uh, filter. And um, I am able to stick a signal, let's say for instance in there, and I can actually turn a knob um, to send a certain level of effect uh, to the effect. Now what is interesting, it is a low pass gate. So the more I, when it's down, the volume is down, but also the filter is down. And if I move it up, the filter moves up and the level moves up, um, which gives a really, really interesting effect. Um, but of course, you don't need to use that. You can also use it purely as volume when it's purely set um, to uh, uh, volume only. There's also a combination possible between filter and uh, volume. Um, so there's many options there how to route it. Um, the cables that are sitting in right now on, 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 on the inputs right there um, are not important at this point. We will talk about that in a different video. The most important thing is that you see four auxiliary sends uh, going out, and I'll talk about where they come back. But the first one is, um, is actually the big sky, um, the, the, not the big sky, the, the star lab. The second one is the Strymon. The third one is, um, actually the, the, um, um sorry, the, the first one, <laughs> I have to think uh, a lot when I'm, when I'm talking. The first one is, uh, the Strymon star lab. The second one is the Magneto also by Strymon. Uh, the third one is the Mimeophone, and the fourth one is uh, the Spring Reverb uh, from Erica. Um, so if I move over here, um, we see, again, this H9 uh, effect. It has nothing stacked in, and there's nothing coming out. So if I want to use it, I can use it. Uh, and right over here, we see the similar system. Uh, we see, um, again, a low-pass gate dynamic manager, um, the first two outputs are actually going to my H9000 uh, rack that I just discussed with the software, and the uh, auxiliary sent over there is actually going to the H90, which we just showed, uh, which is right over there, controlled with the software. So how are these effects now all coming back? I did actually talk a little bit about that, and that is being done here. So here we see... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, returns, uh, of which the top one is the 9000 by Eventide. The second one is the H90 Eventide. And the other four effects are small mixers in the Eurorack that mix all the effects together um, that I just discussed in the Eurorack. And the routing basically is done here with um, this section over here um, where the left channel is constantly going to the left and the right channel is constantly going to the right into this mixer over there and from this mixer straight into uh, the quad mixer so we hear it coming out of the speakers. But this is the standard routing as I have it, but I can at any time 
unplug these individual effects and do something really crazy with it, with panning, or to do some more modulation with it in the Buchla system. So that is how the effects are leaving uh, the Buchla system through the dynamic managers on the left and the dynamic manager on the right. And here on this matrix, uh, it's coming back, it's turned into left and right, and through this mixer, it's going to this mixer. And since the mixers of Buchla are of such high quality, there's barely any loss of signal when you go through a few mixers and then to the output. And uh, when I showcase the sound of Buchla in a separate video, uh, you'll hear how high quality that all sounds with the system. So guys, I really hope that you like this episode of me talking about uh, the effects that I use for Buchla. Uh, just to round it up, a quick summary, there's the H90 with its controlling software. Uh, there's the H9 uh, accessible, which can be controlled by my iPhone. Uh, then there is the 9000 over there, uh, which we talked about with the software. And there's like a bunch of modules in the Euro rack, and they're all being sent by these two dynamic uh, processes, which I talked in detail about. And everything is coming back in this matrix where it's being mixed into two channels and then through the mixer going out to the speakers. But at any point in time, I can just do something with these effects individually. So I really hope that you like this episode. Leave your comments and questions below. You know what to do and we'll look at them and we'll get back to it in a separate episode of Studio Time. See you soon.